In today's How to Slice, we're gonna be checking out some awesome models that will be printed in vase mode. So let's begin the video. So this is the reversed diamond table lamp. As you can see, this is a really nice uh, project. So as you can see, it's a beautiful um, table lamp. We got the base right here with the lids and the lamp shade itself. So let's see the best print configurations to print this beautiful model. So first off, we got the base right here. So let's start with the base and um, the lid before going to the lampshade itself that we're going to be printing in vase spiral mode. Vase or spiral mode, there's two names that you can be calling the feature. But before um, I do recommend printing the base with the lids. Um, I do recommend printing all of the lids because um, as you can see, there are different sizes. So you can see the, um, the ones that will fit best for your print configuration. Sometimes one cannot fit. So I do recommend printing all of them. So to print the base, you can print at your standard a way that you would print. So as you can see, this model does not need any support and it's got a good bad adhesion to the build plate. So as you can see, going over here to layer height, you can just select a 0.18 millimeter layer height. As for perimeters, you can leave it at three. Um, and for infill, you can be printing the infill at 10% just so you can um, save some bit of filament by printing in fill pattern gyroid. As for brim, we do not need any brim because this model's got a good bed adhesion to the build plate. As for support material, it does not need any support material, so you don't have to worry with that. As for speed, you can be printing at your standard printing speed because this model is not complex, doesn't have any small perimeters, so feel free to print at your standard uh, printing speed. So this is going to turn into a really nice model. So let's just slice and take a look. So this um, you can be printing, selecting, trying to arrange all of the lids to print at the same time. I don't know if we're going to be able to, but um, the configurations that I showed you right now will apply to all of the lids right here. So let's just slice and take a look at how it's going to um, it's gonna be so as you can see i just sliced the model it's gonna take 16 hours to print on the profile for the ender 3v3 se and as you can see um, it's gonna print the base perfectly fine if you wanted to you could reduce a little bit of the infill to about around eight um eight percent so you could um save a little bit of filament but this is gonna look really nice so let's see the best print configurations to print the lampshade. So the lampshade right here, let's bring to the build plate. As you can see, this is a really nice model and we're gonna be printing with um, spiral vase. So spiral vase and um, vase mode, it's a feature that prints um, just one wall on the model and it's gonna print in spiral. So it's gonna print in loops uh, until it finished the object. So in this way, um, as I said, it's gonna print just one wall. And by this, you're not gonna have any seams in the model because it's gonna go in spiral, so it never stops. It doesn't have to print one layer, um, skip, then print other layers. This will make um, a little bit steams and some scars in the print. By printing vase mode, it will print in just one go. So let's see the best print settings. So we change the, um, the values to print the base. What we can do to print in spiral vase, can just go to spiral vase right here, select spiral vase. So vase mode requires one perimeter. So it's gonna print just one wall, no top solid interface, 0% fill density, no support material and detect um, thin walls disabled because you're gonna print a little bit thin wall. So as you can see, you can leave it at a layer height of 0.18 millimeters so we can get a good quality print. As for perimeters, we're gonna leave it at just one. Um, this is nice. 
for solid layers at bottom you can leave it at five so it's a little bit rigid so you can print um because it's going to print the ring so right here this ring is going to print it at um five perimeters so this is nice so you can um, get a really stable lampshade as for infill it's set to zero percent this is fine brim it does not need any brim because it's got a good bad adhesion to the build plate as for support material it does not need any support material either as for speed we're going to be reducing the print speed because as you're going to print a really tiny wall um, you're going to have to reduce the speed so you can cool down each layer and um, you're not going to mess up this print so make sure in perimeters right here you reduce to 30 small perimeters reduced to 30 and external perimeters reduced to 30. This will make sure that you change the speed well because you're not going to be printing infill so you can leave the same solid infill you're not going to be printing top solid infill you're not going to be printing support material too so you don't have to change any of these configurations right here. So let's just slice and take a look at the lampshade and how it's gonna look. So as you can see, I just sliced the model and it looks really nice. We got the base right here and the shade itself. So as you can see, if we go down, you can see really clearly that it's got only one um, wall. And if you, you go down right here, the steps, you can see the tool marker right here and it prints perfectly fine. So we'll do all the perimeter of the lampshade actually. And as it gets right here on the end, so as you can see, it leaves um, a little bit up. So in the next layer, it's gonna start from right here and keep on going. So as you can see, it's gonna look really nice. It's gonna take um, seven hours and four minutes to print. By printing just one uh, perimeter, um, it's going to make a really tiny wall, so if you print in white or a different, uh, a really light colored filament, you're, it's going to pass a little bit of light through, so it's going to look really nicely. So the model is ready to print. Make sure you check stlflix.com for more models like this one. And I'll see you in the next one. I hope you guys enjoy it. Those slicing videos are an initiative from STL Academy, which is the educational project from STLflix. So if you guys want to learn more about 3D printing, you could check our description and look at STL Academy courses. And don't forget, see you guys at the next slicing.